that jump into music. Good morning! Welcome to the Get Together with me, Teacher Monica. I'm at my house and you're in your house and we get together and jump into music. Good morning, everybody. You know what? Today we're going to learn all about improvising. Hmm. What's improvising? Don't worry, we're going to figure that out. But first, let's say hi to everybody. Should we get a little rhythm going on our lap? Here we go. Good day, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you. Good day, how are you? Good to see you, I know you. Oh, yay! Good day, how are you, dear Haley, dear Sydney? Good day, how are you, dear Wiley and Alex, too? Good day, how are you, dear Sebastian, dear Camille? Good day. Day. How are you, dear Iris? How are you? Good day. How are you, dear Zoe? Dear Jaya? Good day. How are you, dear Eleanor? How are you? Oh, yay! Good day. How are you, dear Vincent? Dear Adeline? Good day. How are you, dear Krishna and Rowan and Maisie too? Oh, yay! Good day. How are you, dear Winnie? Dear Sebastian? Good day. Day. How are you, dear Olivia, Olivia and Matthew, too? Good day. How are you, dear Milet, dear Gustavo and Gail? Good day. How are you, dear Calvin? How are you? Good day. How are you, dear Hazel, dear Evie? Good day. How are you, dear Fox and Oliver, too? Good day. How are you, dear Wilder, dear Layla? Good day. How are you, dear Brian? How are you? Whoa! Good day. How are you, dear Mio, dear Katen? Good day. How are you, dear Gemma? How are you? Good day. How are you, dear Ezra, dear Grandma? Good day. How are you, dear Darlin and Elon, too? Good day. How are you, dear Max, dear Hugo? Good day. How are you, dear Mona? How are you? and parents, and grandparents, and Joanna, and Audrey, too. Oh, and Lizzie is here. Hi, Lizzie. Welcome to the Get Together. Okay, so today we're learning all about improvising. Hmm. What's improvising? Well, don't worry. We're going to figure that out. We might even make up some songs. But first... Let's sing our song. Did you guys get your instruments together? And gather up some instruments from your house. If you don't have any instruments, you could improvise. You could make some instruments, like maybe find some containers from your kitchen and put something inside there to make a shaker. This one's made out of popcorn. That's a really good sound. And maybe if you don't have a drum, you could find a plastic container. And I don't know where my wooden spoon is, but you could use anything you like to bang on a plastic container and you instantly have a drum. And if you have other instruments, you can bring them too. Yeah, very good. Okay, let's jam. Who else is here? Oh, Elena, hi, Elena. And Razzy, hi, Razzy. Good morning, Kathleen. And Eleanor has her ukulele. Okay, me too. Let's sing our song. Ready? We'll sing and dance and smile today. Making friends along the way We're growing together and having fun I jump into music And jump into music We'll sing with your dad and sing with your mom Sing with your sister, it'll really be fun Sing with grandma and grandpa too I jump I'm talking about in the song. I'm talking about all the things that we do when we have a class at the community center, right? Hmm. Do you think we can do all those things here when I'm in my house and you're in your house? Well, 
we could improvise. We could make do with what we have and do our very best. I don't think I could do a parachute here in my room. I'm not sure how to do that. I'll keep thinking though, maybe there's a way we could do parachute. <gasps> but I'm wondering today, what does it mean to improvise a song? To make up a song? Hmm. Have you ever made up a song? Well, you know, I made up a song a few actually and you know I made up a song that you guys know it's the song that was playing right before the get-together started and it's the one we do for bubbles do you know what it's called down on the drive that's right and it's all about commercial drive and did you know teacher Monica used to play at a place called the Libra room down on the drive I played a gig there for 15 years on Thursday nights and when we first started we did not have enough songs to play for three hours. Let's count one, two, three hours of original music. That was a lot. So every set, my band and I, Jesse and Mark, we used to make up a couple of songs. We would improvise on stage in front of everyone and just make it up. How did we do that? Well, we needed three important ingredients. Just like when you're making supper, you get your ingredients together and you chop, 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 chop. And you put it in the pot and you stir it up and you cook it and then you serve it up and you get to eat and enjoy the benefit of your hard work. That's right. And when we're improvising, we need three ingredients. One, we need the willingness to take a risk. So that means you have to be willing to try something out that you don't know what's going to happen. You also need to have trust yourself and have faith in yourself that you can do it. Yes, you can. So the day that I learned to play, I, that I made up down on the drive, we said, hmm, what key are we going to play it in? We decided on a key. What's a key? A key is where the music is in. So you know, there's a, um, in music, we have an alphabet. Can we say our alphabet? Let's try. We say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Stop. What? Why do we have to stop? Because that's the whole alphabet in music. Only seven. Yes. And then we repeat. The last one makes it eight. Let's try again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Stop. Oh, so we picked one of those keys. It was A. It's a pretty good key. The first one. Yeah, I really like the first one. Yeah. And we picked a genre. We said it's going to be Calypso. So my drummer knows about Calypso. So he started playing Calypso rhythms. And my guitar player, Jesse, he knows some Calypso rhythms for the guitar. And he knows some great chords that sound good together. And then they all started playing. And I made up the words on the spot. Let's see if we can sing my song. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. And it goes like this. Down on the drive. Oh, 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 down on the drive. Oh, 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 down on the drive. Down on the drive tonight, tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Huh. Did you notice that I repeat the first line three times? That's right. Let's try it again. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Down on the drive. Oh, 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 down on the drive. Oh, 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 down on the drive. Down on the drive tonight, tonight. Oh, 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 oh. The reason that I did that is because I learned from my dad, who sings Calypso, so he's from Trinidad, and from the blues tradition, that if you sing the first three, first, first line three times, then you have enough time to think up your fourth line. And by then, you're through your bars of the number of bars that you need to get through for a verse. So this is a trick for improvising, making up on the spot lyrics. Well, I thought maybe we could make up a song right now. Maybe a blues. Let's do a blues. I'm going to get my ukulele. So I know how the chords for the blues go. There's a one chord. And then there's a four chord. And then you go back to the one chord. And then there's a five chord. And then a four chord. And then the one chord. And then five. One. 
So because I have studied, I know that those are all the chords in the blues. And that's actually one of the reasons that the blues is such a comfortable style of music is because it's very predictable. What's not predictable is what we're going to do with our words and our melody, how we're going to make it sound beautiful. Okay, so we need to come up with a topic. Hmm, well, it's the morning. I have my coffee. Yes, my coffee's almost empty. Mm. What about breakfast? You know what happened is I spilled my breakfast on the floor. Oopsie. It made me kind of sad. Let's see if we can sing about that. I'm so sad. I spilled my breakfast on the floor. So sad, so sad, so sad. I spilled my breakfast on the floor. So sad on the floor. Now I don't have no food no more. So sad. So sad. Oh, you know, and yesterday, what else could we do? What happened yesterday? Oh, I lost my keys. You sing with that? <laughs> I found them eventually. I lost. I lost my keys. I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost my keys. I lost my keys. Oh, yo, yo, you know I'm down on my knees. I lost. I lost my keys. All right. We just made up a blues song. All right, the breakfast and the keys. The sad breakfast and the lost keys blues. That's how one way to improvise lyrics. Yeah, okay. So, I wonder if we could make up a lap ride for Teddy. Do you guys have your teddy wear with you? You have a stuffy? And if you're a mom or a dad and you're hanging out, you can grab your little one and sit them on your lap. And we're going to go for a horse ride. Okay, so today I don't have a plan. What am I going to do? <gasps> I have to make it up. All right, let's see. Let's focus on the fact that we're going for a horsey ride. I'm going to think about that. Clip, clop, clip, clop. We're going for a ride. Giddy up, giddy up, oh Teddy, giddy up. Woo! Giddy up, giddy up, little Teddy. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, oh Teddy, giddy up. Yeah! Oh, well, that was fun. Now, I wonder if I'm going to be able to remember that. Let's try again. <gasps> clip, clop, clip, clop. We're going for it. Giddy up, giddy up, oh, Teddy, giddy up. Woo! Giddy up, giddy up, oh, Teddy, giddy up. You! Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, oh, Teddy, giddy up. Yeah! Woo! <gasps> tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> well, that was fun. Oh, thank you, Teddy. Wow, nice work. Okay. Wow. So, I'm not sure. Was my first one the same as the second one? Mm, it was similar. But when you're making it up, you got to take a risk and you just never know what's going to happen. Okay, maybe we could make up a maraca song. You guys get your maracas? Two maracas, two maracas. Two for you and two for me. Two maracas, two maracas, they make me so happy. Two maracas, two maracas, one for each hand. Two maracas, two maracas, together we're a big band. Okay, so what do maracas do? They shake, shake, maybe we could make it like a blues too. Shake it, baby, shake it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake it, baby, shake it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake it, baby, shake it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake it, baby, shake it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake it. Oh, shake it. Oh. What else can we do with the maracas? Can we tap them? Tap it, baby, tap it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap it, baby, tap it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Tap it, baby, tap it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap it. Oh, tap it. Ooh. Look who's here. Oh, Jumpin' Jack Jazz Frog. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Well, I'm so glad that you could come today. Is this a special day for you? It is. How come? Oh, because Jack is a jazz frog. And jazz is often about improvising. Isn't that right? That's right. So sometimes in jazz, what people do is they take a form, they take a song, and they play it the way it was written. And then the second time around, they improvise on it. That's right. Oh, that's a good point. Jazz is kind of a complex form of improvising where you have to understand a lot of things before you can start. That's right. But they still making it up on the spot. That's right, very good. Do you think we could do the Shake It song with the drum? Okay, okay, I'm gonna get the drum. Let's get the drum over here. You wanna help me? Okay, all right, you hold one and I'll hold the other. How about we do? Drum it, baby, drum it, yeah, yeah. That's why you're called a Jumpin' Jack Jazz Frog. That's true. Okay, that was really fun. All right, time to put our maracas away. You can stay right there with us. How about that, Jack? Maracas away. Time to put the maracas away. Oh, what do we have here? Ah, I see a sign that says that Eleanor made maracas out of cardboard poster tubes and plana plastic necklaces. Good idea. Those plastic necklaces always break, don't they? Yeah, and then the beads go everywhere all over the house and you could put them inside of the cardboard tube, like even a toilet paper roll would probably work. And then the, maybe some elastics and something on the end to cover it up. Ah, oh, very smart. That's a fun art project. I really like that. Okay, very good idea. And I think that I, oh, Abby and Elizabeth are here and Oliver, hi Oliver. I'm really happy too. Oliver is happy, look at this. I'm happy to. I'm going to send everybody a big heart. You got your thumbs? Put our thumbs in, guys. <gasps> boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. <gasps> yes, very good. All right. That's very nice. And uh, Junior. Oh, hi. Good morning, Junior. I'm so glad you could make it. Okay, so we're improvising today. And um, I thought that maybe we could make up some more songs. Why not? Okay, so I have, in my room today, I have three big instruments. Can you see them? I have, oh, hi, Maxwell, welcome. I have over here, can I see it? Is it right there? I have my melodeon. Back there, I have my viola. And right here, I have my ukulele, right? I think we could make up three songs on three instruments. Okay, so do you guys remember we were talking about the keys? So the, the key that we're going to do, that we, we're going to use our alphabet. And I thought maybe we could work on being in the key of A. A is the first letter of the alphabet. And why not? It's our first letter of our musical alphabet and the first letter of our word alphabet too. That's a good place to start when you're a beginner improviser. Okay, so I'm going to start with my melodeon. Now... Sometimes keys are happy and sad. We call that major and minor. Major has a very bright and happy sound. Let's see what the sound, the key major, A major sounds like. nice that's actually the same key as down on the drive it's a happy excited kind of key yeah it makes you feel good okay so I am going to 
I'm willing to take a risk. I trust myself and I have faith that I can do it. I'm going to make up a song right now in the key of A. Here we go. is recorded because then I can hear it again later. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now I'm going to pick my viola. I gotta go back here and get it. Let me get the viola. Oh, scooching back here to get my viola. Come on, viola. There we go. And you know, the viola string instruments are really, really good at sounding sad. <laughs> It's so sad. <laughs> no, it's not so sad, but it's a viola has a really beautiful sound in the minor key. The minor key has a bit, let's see what A minor sounds like. <laughs> So let's see if I'm going to make up a song on the spot in A minor. Here we go. Wish me luck. my favorite, the ukulele. I wondered if you could help me out. So this is going to be a very big risk. I want you guys to send me four words. So if you have a mom who's can type in, type in a word right now, your favorite word, some word that you think would be fun in a song. And I'm going to try and make a song up with those four words. The first four words I get. Let's get some four words, you guys. Somebody put in a word in the comments and I will... Make up a song about it. Okay. Anybody out there want to send me a word? This is the moment to do it. I have a little drink. Mm-hmm. Ooh, butterfly, rainbow, and baby. Those are good. Butterfly, rainbow, baby, moose. <laughs> Okay, those are the first four words. So those are gonna be our words. Butterfly, rainbow, baby, moose. Okay, here we go. So we also need to know if the song should, what tempo the song should be. Should it be fast or slow? Can you tell me if you, <laughs> there's a lot of really good words here. Fun, up, Spider-Man, strawberries, butterfly, doggy, purple. I can see a lot of songs that could be written about all these things. Dancing, pie, mustard, pasta, waterfall. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I could make a song with all the words. Hmm, that would be tough. Let's see. Anyway, I don't see how many I can fit in. I was thinking four would be good. And what about fast or slow? Fast. Jenna says fast. Okay, so fast song about butterfly, rainbow, baby, moose. And what about dynamics? Dynamics means 
How loud? Have you heard of the word dynamite? What does dynamite do? Oh my goodness. It explodes, doesn't it? It just absolutely explodes. It's super loud. So when we talk about dynamics, it means how loud. So we could be pianissimo. Very, very soft. And then mezzo forte, medium loud. That's kind of like normal speaking voice. And then there's fortissimo, <laughs> which is super strong and loud. Ooh, okay. Quiet, fast and quiet. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. And we're singing about a butterfly. I'm going to get close to the microphone. Oh, butterfly, butterfly. We sure learned a lot about improvising today. Uh-oh. Hmm. I forgot to, to do something. Did I forget to do something? What did I forget to do? I always forget to do something. <sighs> Teacher Monica is very forgetful. Do you know what I forgot to do? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe if I put on this song. Oh! It's the song we were doing earlier, isn't it? The Down on the Drive song? Oh, yeah. And you know, I just got a new mix of this song. And let's have a listen. Even though I wrote this song a long time ago, I still love it a lot. I can still keep working on it and trying to make it better and better. Let's see how it sounds. Whoa! Here we go!
guys too, didn't we? We really did. Thank you all for coming today. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you for coming to music class today and improvising with me, making stuff up. And you know, I hope that today, later on today, you guys can make up more songs too. I did make a playlist of some interesting improvisations, a lot of them from Bobby McFerrin. He is an amazing improviser. He uses his mouth to make all the sounds in the song. It's really amazing. I also put four songs off of my live record that are all songs that I made up on stage in front of an audience. Oh, whoa. Yes, that's right. Four songs on that record are originally improvs. You know, so you sometimes take a risk and it's really great. You come up with a great song. I'm going to have to maybe work on my Rainbow Butterfly Baby Moose song later and see if I can do anything else with it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we say bye to everybody. You can catch a train. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> well, the goodbye train is coming. See you soon. <laughs> the goodbye train is coming. See you soon. <laughs> the goodbye train is coming. The goodbye train is coming. Yes, the goodbye train is coming. See you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Evie and Iris. See you soon. Well, I'll say bye to Haley and Sydney. See you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Wilder. And we'll all say bye to Sebastian. And we'll all say bye to Eleanor. See you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Brian. See you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Mille. See you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Layla. And we'll all say bye to Eleanor. And we'll all say bye to Ezra and Grandma. See you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Razzie. See you soon. Well, I'll say bye to Kaya Nova, see you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Sebastian and Camille, and we'll all say bye to Gregory, and we'll all say bye to Jaya and Zoe and Katen and Gemma, see you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Savan, see you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Lizzie, see you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Olivia, and we'll all say bye to Wiley, and we'll all say bye to Ronan and Maisie, see you soon. <laughs> Well, I'll say bye to Darlene and Elon, see you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Nyla, see you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Elena, and we'll all say bye to Fox, and we'll all say bye to Resh. Ryashni! Oh, Ryansh. Oh, Rina. Ryansh. Ryansh. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't pronounce it right. Oh, well, I'll say bye to Monica. Oh, that's a me. <laughs> I read my name. You're welcome, Leila. Well, I'll say bye to Krishna and Curtis. See you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Max. I'll see you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Max and Hugo. And we'll all say bye to the parents. And I think I missed some people, so I'm going to roll back up here and see if I can find them. See you soon. <laughs> Well, I'll say bye to Malcolm and Max. Oh, and Fox. Oh, you guys put it in again. And Curtis and Adam. See you soon. <laughs> and we'll all say bye to Ruth. See you soon. <laughs> well, I'll say bye to Oliver. And we'll all say bye. Let's see. Maybe I caught up there. <gasps> to Theo. <laughs> and we'll all say bye to Ivy. See you soon. <laughs> and Teddy, too. And Jumpin' Jack Frog, too. And the little birdies, too. And the sleepy polar bears on this side. Woo! Sleepy polar bears, where are you? Two. And Panda and Baby and Spider-Man, too. And the little frog, too. And you and you. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for supporting the get-togethers here on Facebook Live and me, Teacher Monica, when I'm at my house and you're at your house and we get together and jump into music. Thank you for sharing this episode or if you have any photos that you want to send me of you guys improvising at home, you could post them on the Jump Into Music page or even on the Instagram page for other parents so they could see how much fun we're having. Woohoo! And I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. And we're having a birthday. Shh! It's a secret. We're having a birthday party tomorrow. <laughs> Somebody is turning three. Bye! Have a wonderful day!
Got jumped into music.